Uh, okay, next. I'm not going to play any of this video. I'm just bringing it up to show you. But um, Sam Hyde, out of nowhere, published a what he called a documentary about a documentary he wanted to do with iDubs. Or rather, that iDubs contacted him to do. And uh, the gist was, I think, that iDubs, on orders from H3H3, who fucking hates Sam Hyde, uh, was going to go out and have an interview with Sam Hyde where he would capture some heartwarming moments of Sam Hyde showing weakness because he's way past his prime at this point. He's not, he's not where he was before. Um, his videos kind of suck to be honest with you. Uh, he's mostly giving really bad advice to the point where I'm pretty sure that Sam Hyde's MO right now is trolling his own audience. Cause if you're telling like impressionable kids that they shouldn't like get a trade or go to school and they should max out their credit cards and rent cars and then crash the cars. I'm pretty sure that you're trying to troll your own audience. Uh, and his, his videos are very lazy. There's a couple people out there that clip his videos down, and they're pretty much not worth watching, except for the ones where he's talking to Nick. I don't know his last name, but he's like a, a car salesman. And that guy's stories about selling cars are some of the funniest things I've ever seen. So the videos where he's just talking to Nick are, are pretty great. But in this, um, <clears throat> Sam is just showing what footage they have of this documentary that iDubs never put out. They were supposed to put out a uh, documentary about Sam Hyde or something, like a YouTube style documentary about hanging out with Sam Hyde. And it never happened. So they sank $15,000 into it. And nothing ever came of it. So they said, like, fuck it. We'll try to recoup our money. We'll put out our own little video. And there is, like, a interview here where he, they're talking. And I guess this is some of the interesting stuff Do you have any guess because there's like i don't know people read way too much into this i think the most interesting thing about the whole documentary was the fact that two people joined the kiwi farms to argue with each other um one guy was posting stories about how sam hyde like imported a 15 year old girl to fuck her and beat her and there's like naked pictures of her wearing like a dog collar and then another guy was arguing with that guy for about 20 pages about how he's actually a schizophrenic, like an actual diagnosed schizophrenic who's been stalking Sam Hyde for about 10 years and posted a weird picture, which he accused of being him, where it's a guy sitting in a room full of dakimakarus of Lollicon. And it's just a really weird conversation. <clears throat> but uh, the actual video we put out has some funny stuff. The funniest stuff is actually, I'm just going to read to you, because um, at the beginning, Sam Hyde explains that uh, he went into this with um, the intention of trolling the fuck out of iDubs, obviously. And he published a document called the iDubs Gaslighting Blueprint. So I'm just going to read. These were his plans to slowly fuck with iDubs over a week. Stuff to bring. And then it has like a list of names, and these are supposed to be characters. So character one is to bring a skateboard, fingerboarding ramps, art from kindergarten, Football trophy from 2006. Osama bin Laden paper target filled with bullet holes. My dad. Fireworks. An Xbox One. Bullets wet with no gun. A webcam. A dead fern, fern plant. A huge printout of Johnny Depp and talk about how much of a bitch Amber Heard is. Tupperware and a rice cooker. Character 2 needs a pirate sword, a laptop. Uh, broken Rocket 5 speakers, a rack mount with a ton of vin vintage audio gear, monitors and old computer towers that he can't break because he's borrowing, tires with rims, a Christmas tree, Alexa, TV, lamps. Character 3 is to get audio gear uh, to capture audio and podcast gear. Um, there was one guy who was supposed to be a bouncer, and... They had to ask him, like, his character was just that they ask him constantly if they can do stuff. Like, can I put this bag down? They have to ask permission to leave the building. And he's just like, I, I have to, uh, like, to anyone who enters, anyone who does anything has to talk to him. And they take it very seriously. Stuff to buy. Expensive alcohol. Lots of alcohol. A bunch of Pokemon cards. Try to tell iDubs what Pokemon is as, as if it's like a new thing like crypto. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm glad they did not do this. Buying parakeets from Petco. 
Wait for the birds to stop chirping to record rap music. Put cream soda in water bowl. Fill fridge with unbagged meat. Keep drinks in fridge. Uh, 10K cash to buy scratch tickets. A quarter pound of weed. An empty litter box. A bunch of dead wasp. Lean. Enough vapes for everyone to do it constantly. Empty mouthwash bottles filled with blue Gatorade. A keg. And a Derek Jeter fathead. All of them were supposed to be like rapping constantly, recording bad rap, rap music. Um, stage fight where Sam re records breaths and since the auto tune is in the wrong key. One of us says we need to be about what we rap, implying they should rob someone. Uh, record super quiet nigga ad libs. Song with hook swag like I dubs. Stage fight over who gets to use the alias Cream Boy. <laughs> um, one song is entirely stolen Michael Jackson human nature lyrics. And set smoke detector off while recording. And this is uh, the guy that was supposed to be like the, the really tough security guy. Pat iDubs down and say, yeah, we just had a cyber attack this morning. <laughs> Ask iDubs in private if he can help with the rent. <laughs> Keep referring to the bodyguard as some other guy. I don't know. He censored the names in all these for whatever reason. One, uh, they I think in the video, and I'll just show you what she looks like. It's in the beginning. Uh, her. Fuck. This woman, right where is it? Danny, this woman. This woman, is like, from what I, what I was told, is a literal crack whore who they paid money to uh, shave her head and accompany them and perform stupid tasks. And apparently, out of all these wiggers that Sam du uh, Sam Hyde has following him all the time and like sucking his ass. The, the woman who stayed best in character with their script was Danny, this, the crack whore. Oh, she's just an actress. She's not actually a crack whore. Okay, whatever. I'm sure. And apparently everyone likes Danny because she does the character of being a crack whore really well. And there's like an hour of just shooting footage for no reason. Uh, sparring. They, they like get iDubs to like fight at some point like to kick kickbox with them what do you fight for the veterans <laughs> chanting uga shaka while we spar telling him if i get near him he's dead be insecure about how good we are teach him downer cuts keep insisting there's nothing in my gloves smoking while starring and blake breakaway glass shit bottle smash overhead wwe shit keep doing wrestling shit but say it's boxing oh and this is about the the crack whore danny will be playing sam's gf she'll try to hook up with iDubs the entire time she has no car but has money for ubers we can send her to the gas station to get blunt wraps we can be mean to her but it should probably just be sam being mean so it's believable <laughs> pay one thousand dollars have her be shit faced keep asking if he knows someone with hydrocodone her tit falls out and she laughs and says it's like a free trial for her OnlyFans. Hold pad for kicks. Says she gives B top. Oh, bad. Bad head. She's hot. Okay. Tries to have a three or four way. Keeps saying she loves fucking on coke. Story about Joey Diaz from the mid-2000s. She says she ate his ass. She gets beat up and sparring constantly. Hold pads for kicks. Maybe pay her more for getting her ass beat. She only lets her... Oh, Sam only lets her eat salad with no dressing. <laughs> Literally just leaves. <laughs> and cheese sticks. Insane mood swings. Keep talking about Zoloft. How she snorted at work. Sam has B take her out to a bar crawl. B comes back alone and says she shows up three hours later getting dropped off by a Hispanic dude. Tell Sam the guy tried to rape her. Tells everyone that's a lie, and she sucked him off for a ride back. Shoot blank with moldy grapes using sl slingshot. Talk about Meek Mill a lot. <laughs> Apparently, she was the best. Um, how much more of this do I want to read? I'll read about laser tag. 
somehow lose. Bring airsoft gun. <laughs> Tackling each other. Make a huge fuss saying there's saying it's broken. There's no way you hit me. B talks nonstop about how much laser tag he's played. Act like you're at war and in danger. Watch your flanks. Bring the nitro RC car and say it's RCXD. Do maneuvers like rolls and corner checks. Yell out clear. <laughs> you know, I've played laser tag one time and it was... Oh, I remember. It was me and my friend and we were drunk. And it was my... I think it was my 21st birthday. I was with my friend. We were doing a bar call. We went to a laser tag room. And... um. It was like a bunch of kids there, and I kicked all their asses. Like, me and my friend completely stomped these kids that we were playing with at this laser tag place that we went to drunk. <laughs> I, think, I think that this memory has been completely blotted from my brain until I just read about laser tag for the first time in six years. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh well people have very mixed feelings about this whole documentary and like people who it's, it's one of those things where it's like you either like sam hyde or you don't like sam hyde and anything that you see regarding sam hyde will either like validate why you like him or will validate why you don't like him so like people saying this are like Oh, he, he like lost his little, you know, troll game with iDubs because iDubs didn't publish it. So now he's like salty and just pu publishing this to try to fuck with iDubs. And then other people are like, holy fuck, this is the best thing that Sam Hyde's done in like three years. So it, it's it's definitely one of those things where you have like a confirmation bias and you're just looking for what you want. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny, at least some of it. I didn't watch the, the parts where they're just shooting guns for half an hour. That was boring as shit. The funniest stuff is just this document. So, so what do you think, chat? Do you like, do you, I'll ask chat because I have to pay attention to chat saying, do you like Sam Hyde? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a three or I'll do three. Yes. Yes. But I think he's probably shit. And wait, shit. But he's probably shit in real life. And no. And we'll see. Yes. Yes. But he's probably shit in real life or no. And I will, I will read you the answer in a second. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.